can't get up, turn around, jump around and praise his name. We gotta get up, turn around, jump around, everybody singing in the name of Jesus. We gotta get up, turn around, jump around and praise his name. And praise his name. Hi, I'm Maddie. And I am Han. Welcome to my lab. Today, Han said we're going to get to do something really cool. Yes, Maddie, would you please choose a color? Um, green. Good choice. Now, put the green solution in the beaker. Okay. All right, now what? Then, put the brown solution in the beaker and watch what happens. That is science, <laughs> and it is very powerful. You're right. Oh, but remember, though, there's another kind of power that's more powerful than any kind of science. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit? That's the special helper God sent us. But he doesn't make foam. Well, no, but the Holy Spirit does give us the power to tell others about Jesus. And how does he do that? The Holy Spirit helps us to learn more about God's love for us. The more we realize how much God loves us, the more we are filled with his love, just like this beaker was filled with foam. And then, when we have just so much of God's love that we're so excited that we just can't keep it to ourselves, we share that love with others by telling them about Jesus. I don't think that love is the same as foam, though. It doesn't pour out of us like foam. You can't even see love. <laughs> You're right, it's not the same, but, but this, this can still remind us of how we can share God's love with others. There are many people who don't know God. We can help them get to know God by bringing them to church or by telling them about how much Jesus loves them. I can do that through the power of the Holy Spirit, of course. <laughs> That's right, Han, you can. The Holy Spirit will always help us to be brave and to share Jesus' love with others. Now, I wanna try one thing. What? I want to make something big happen. Uh, uh, Ma Maddie, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Uh, these are very powerful elements. Oh, come on, hon. It'll be fun. Okay, but just don't use too many of... Uh... Oh, wow! <laughs> that's amazing! Wow! Now that's science. <laughs> I suppose you are correct. Well, that's our science experiment for today. Thank you for joining us in my lab. Remember that you can share your love for Jesus with others. He loves you so much. As do we. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> So mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big, so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do He made the trees, He made the seas He made the elephants too My God is so big, so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do.
Acts 10 in our Super Kid Manual tells us the Bible story about Peter and Cornelius, and it goes like this. There was a man named Cornelius. He was an officer in the Roman army. He and all the other people who lived in his house worshiped the one true God. He gave much of his money to the poor and prayed to God often. One afternoon, Cornelius saw a vision. An angel of God came to him and said, Cornelius. He responded, what do you want, Lord? The angel said, God has heard your prayers. He has seen that you give to the poor. Send some men now to Joppa to bring back a man named Simon. Simon is also called Peter. Simon is staying with a man also called Simon. He has a house besides the sea. Then the angel left. Cornelius called two of his servants and a soldier, and he told them what happened and sent them to Joppa. The next day, as they came near Joppa, Peter was going up to the roof to pray. It was about noon, so Peter was hungry and wanted to eat. But while the food was being prepared, he had a vision, and he saw heaven open and something coming down. It looked like a big sheet being lowered to earth by its four corners. In it were all kinds of animals. Then a voice said to Peter, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, No, Lord, I've never eaten food that was unholy or unclean. But the voice said to him again, God has made these things clean. Don't call them unholy. This happened three times. Then the sheet was taken back up to heaven. While Peter was wondering what the vision meant, the men Cornelius sent had found Simon's house. Peter was still thinking about the vision, but the Spirit said to him, Listen, three men are looking for you. Get up and go downstairs. Go with them and don't ask questions. I have sent them to you. So Peter went down to the men. He said, I am the man you are looking for. Why did you come here? They said, An angel spoke to Cornelius and told Cornelius to ask you to his house so that he can hear what you have to say. The next day, Peter went with them. When they got to Caesarea, Cornelius was waiting for them. There, Peter saw many people together. He said, You people understand that it is against our Jewish law for a Jew to associate with or visit anyone who is not a Jew. But God has shown me that I should not call any person unholy or unclean. And that is why I did not argue when I was asked to come here. Now please tell me why you sent for me, to hear everything the Lord has commanded you to tell us. Thanks for tuning in to Back to the Bible. Wow, science is so powerful. But you know what? The Holy Spirit is even more powerful. The power of the Holy Spirit helps us to tell others about Jesus' love. In Han's lab, we got to see how Maddie was able to make the beaker start overflowing because of the special solution. That reminds us of what happens when we feel God's love for us. Love is not exactly like foam, but God gives us so much love so we can share that love with others. And we can share it by telling others about Jesus. And we can do that even at home. So let's start thinking, hmm, who is someone we can share God's love with today? Maybe it's our neighbor, a friend, perhaps someone in your family. You could tell a friend or a neighbor about Jesus' love. Or you could have your parent help you write, Jesus loves you in chalk on your sidewalk outside so that everyone walking by can be reminded that Jesus loves them. You know, you can even start by just saying a prayer to God, asking him to make you brave and share Jesus with others or show you someone who is sad and needs Jesus' love. So let's ask God to help us tell others about Jesus right now. Let's put five fingers here, five fingers there, put them together for a prayer. Let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit when we become part of your family. I pray that you would make me brave and help me to share the love of Jesus to everyone I know. I ask that you would help me to be creative with the way I tell others and show me who I can share that love with today. And in Jesus' name, we all say, Amen. Thank you so much for joining us at Church at Home. I so loved being with you today. 
I hope that you have a great week, and we hope to see you next time. Bye. Give